Hey everybody, this is Stephanie from MidgetMama.com and today I'm doing a little product review on a collection of Usborne books that I've put together for preschoolers. Now, if you've never heard of Usborne, it is a online book company that you can actually host little parties for either at your home or online just on Facebook. And it has a lot of brightly colored book. The images are really vibrant. And my favorite part of that is they are really geared for your child to learn some great facts. It touches on subjects in a way that the kids are very engaged, but at the same time, they are constantly learning. Um, now, my children are four and she is a girl and a two-year-old boy and they both can agree upon reading any of these stories. It's not a matter of I want to read a princess book and I want to read my pirate book. These are both books that they can agree upon and enjoy together. Um, my children's favorite books are torn between the Peek Inside books, which are all in the bottom row, and the Shine the Light books, which are the two books, the On the Plane and the Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. Now, they love these ones the most because they are constantly interacting with the book with me. I'm not just reading them a story. They're getting to get their hands on and get involved with the book. So now the first series I will show you is the Shine the Light books. And these ones you actually need the help of a flashlight, which I just go to the Dollar Tree and grab a couple of the flashlights for the kids to do them themselves. Um, for this little video, I'm just going to show you using my cell phone with a little light on since most people will have their phones on them. Now. My favorite thing about these books is I can make a whole homeschooling uh, theme out of these books. It takes you through the process of planting a tomato plant. And it gives you lots of facts and you shine the light. And as you shine the light, it reveals things like the water coming out of the watering can and the seeds in the soil and it shows you the scarecrow underneath and it shows you how the worms uh, mulch the, the leaves into compost and food for the plants. Now, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but when you're in a dimly lit room, it really shows through really well and it shows you the page on the back and my kids just love being able to hold the flashlight and see what's behind. Then we also have the On the Plane book. And it goes inside taking you through the airport to where, you know, the bags are stored underneath. Because I know I travel a lot with my children and they're always worried about where do their suitcases go. And it's a great way to kind of show them how everything works, how air traffic controller works, how the actual engines on the plane take the air in, mix it with the gas, and shoot backwards to propel the plane. Um, it's a great one if you're going to be taking your children on any airport trips or if they're just fascinated with travel. It really gets them interactive with the flashlight. Now, the next of our favorite books are the Peek Inside books. And these are like a, an advanced lift and flap book because you're going through each page has different flaps that this one's all about nighttime and it shows you how the bakers are working and they're mixing and they're kneading and shaping to get the bread ready for morning. It's, it gives you a lot of context to each one and they're, they're showing you how the fireflies are attracted to lights and the bats fly at night. It really gives you a lot of context. It's not just a couple words on each page. There's a lot of holes 
like where the eyes are. So my two year old likes to feel everything. It's a great book for both of my children's age groups, but it's really, it, it's, it's a great learning book. It teaches them about things of the world, you know, about continuing with the other garden book. We do these ones back to back. You know, the ladybugs have wings and it shows you inside of a butterfly. And it teaches them, shows them about compost. And then I can relate this back and we now have a compost pile of our own because she wanted to start one just like the book. And we use the tools like she has seen in the book and we're growing our own garden just like she has read in the books. And they have different ones for different themes like the Peek Inside Farm, Peek Inside Zoo, Peek Inside Dinosaurs, Peek Inside Animal Homes. Now, continuing with the lift and flaps, they have books that are about construction sites where you have to find the rabbit on each page. And you just go through and whoever finds the rabbit first is the one, you know, who won that page, as our kids say. Um, I recommend this one for a little bit of the younger crowd. My four-year-old remembers where the bunny was on each page, so it's not really difficult for her. But my two-year-old son loves it because it has all the, the heavy machinery, has the back hose, and he forgets where the bunny is all the time. And then we have lift and flap shapes. So it starts teaching them about different shapes like the semicircles, the diamond. It goes into the colors because you're working on searching for like the blue circle. You have to look to find the matching blue circle and the red triangle. You have to see where the matching one is. Um, it really is a great way to teach your children about the different shapes and how certain shapes like a triangle can be folded in half and turn into a diamond or you know the square turns into a rectangle and it's bringing in different colors and how many corners does a rectangle have four it it's very interactive but educational so my daughter really loves that book now a preschoolers version of where's waldo we have the very first book of things to spot out and about so inside this book you have to read them the little passage can you find a yellow flag and the child has to find that yellow flag that's attached to the bike trailer and it just goes along with different questions who isn't very happy so it goes along with emotions and they find oh that little bear sad and you know can you see a clock and they have to find the clock tower and all different kinds of using their 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 eyes to find each item and it goes through normal stores like which can is different uh, who is buying fish both of my kids enjoy this one. My four-year-old obviously does a better job at finding the items, but my two-year-old is starting to really get into this one. Now this one, both my kids like because it is about dogs, which is an interest for both of them, but it is more geared towards the older children. Um, my four-year-old likes this more. It has an actual table of contents where they can find each page, the different uh, scenario so they want to learn about puppies playtime you go to page number six and you learn all about how puppies play and they chase each other and it goes through with very factual things but has fun pictures of the dogs with illustrations and actual pictures and this comes in many different series like butterflies and cats and all that kind of stuff and then we have my son's favorite, which is I'm a Dirty Dinosaur, which I just really get into reading this one because it has such a great rhythm to it when you're reading. And the pictures are really great because the illustrator actually used dirt and mud to draw all of these pictures with. And it's just the tail of the dirt dinosaur with 
a fun story to it about how he's so dirty and he likes to splash and shake about the place and how he taps his belly like a drum and dirty 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 and you thinking well why am I going to read a story about a dinosaur getting dirty 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 and more dirty but towards the end I'm a dirty dinosaur I'm yucky oh my gosh I think I'll stomp right to the swamp and give myself a wash. So my son likes to read that, oh, the dinosaur can get absolutely dirty, but it's okay to get clean at the end. Because in the end, you can always look right back at that mud and get muddy again. It's a great little book for any of your little dirty little dinosaurs at home. And then the last activity is the White Clean series. This is the uh, take and go version. Uh, it has different books from getting ready to write to alphabet to one, two, three to letters. It comes with one little marker, but if you lose this little dry erase marker, you can always just use any dry erase marker. I like to use baby wipes and a paper towel to get them clean. But your child just goes through and looks at the numbers and follows along with how to write the letter. And they also have to connect any of the little dots and follow the lines. And so they're making shapes like squares and circles. And they're learning about B is for balloons and butterflies. And it continues the same concept with the numbers. And the first letters are more of a form of informal where there's just letters on the page that are similar to the shapes. And then the pre-writing just helps your child start to learn things uh, about their pen movements. Now my four-year-old kind of likes these. She gets bored with them fast. I think because of how small they are, it's harder to know where the, the dotted lines are. She has to really look for them. I think if I got the full size version, she would have really liked these more. So I definitely recommend getting the big version of these books. Um, I did like the fact that I'm able to take these to go in the car. And these were my top picks for Usborn books. I recommend uh, checking out the company and looking at my top picks here for Usborn books. I hope you guys all have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe.